Hey everybody, welcome once again to La Malagueta. It is 8.45 in the morning. I have been awake for about an hour because I'm that guy that even on vacation, I wake up early. And uh, I'm here, I'm doing a little bit of running um, on the beach. I'm also going to be doing some other exercises. There's a place down here where I can go do pull-ups. And that's gonna be an adventure because I haven't done very many pull-ups recently. But hey, just wanted to show you the beautiful scenery out here. It's lovely. The, uh, the tide has risen overnight and I just got my feet wet in a very bad way. Well, an important way. I'm sure in 20 minutes I will have forgotten all about it. So yeah, don't run close to the water when the tide is rising is the lesson for today. And I'm gonna run down here, do some pull-ups and some squats, and we'll talk later. Keep it real, everybody. Okay, it is. About 9.45 now, I have finished my workout. I really didn't do very much. I did a total of 15 pull-ups, which is okay, but um, I used to do more when I did pull-ups regularly, and I did some different leg exercises. And I met some nice people. People here are very friendly. Um, so now, I'm going to try to find some coffee in one of these chiringuitos, one of these bars on the beach. We will see. One of the great mysteries of Spanish life to me is cafes that open at 10 or 11 or, or even later. But hey, we'll see. Um, what I wanted to talk about is exercise to help you learn. Possibly you haven't thought about this, but Exercise is a great way to stimul stimulate your brain. Exercise helps you bring more oxygen and more blood into your brain, and that helps you to sleep better, remember more, and learn more. This is something that, you know, they don't teach you in English class, but it's very true. I hope you can hear me over the waves. This is very true, lots of science has proven the exercise makes you basically more intelligent. So, um, sleep also. A lot of times your memory, uh, how much you remember depends on if you're sleeping enough or not. So if you're not exercising at all or doing some kind of physical activity during your day, I highly recommend you do it. It also gives you more energy, which you can then use to do what you want with your life and achieve your other goals. Recently I'm reading a book where the gentleman says rather than managing time and trying to save time, manage energy, try to create more energy. That's what will make you more productive and more successful. So we'll see. I hope it's, I hope it works. I'll uh, tell you later on what happens. Anyway, continuing with the day. Have a good one. Okay, we're back. I am here on the beach again. Well, I went, I had some coffee, then I went back to the hotel and I did some work because I'm always working for wonderful people like you. Um, I finished my video for today, which you should watch. It's with a lovely girl who I met yesterday who's from Israel and she speaks very good English, almost perfect English. And we had a conversation about Spain and her impressions and about her being a vegetarian also, a vegan, which is a more specific, strict kind of vegetarian. As you might be able to see here on the video, it is a very beautiful, warm, sunny day here in Malaga. So I'm going to do some reading. This is the book I was telling you about before. How to Fail at Almost Everything and Still Win Big by Scott Adams. Scott Adams is a very intelligent man. He draws a cartoon called Dilbert and I don't know, I just bought the book 
the other day. Uh, so far, it's very interesting and very intelligent. And of course, the topic is failure. Failure is one of these things that you just can't avoid in life. And so I've been reading recently about attitudes towards failure and about using failure as a learning experience. And this is something that also helps if you're learning a language because a lot of people think they don't want to make mistakes and if they make mistakes then they're a bad language person or something. But they failed as a language student. It's not true. You need to make all the mistakes you can. You need to go out right now and make mistakes while speaking a language and everything will be okay. You'll see. You will learn more from your failures than you ever do from your successes. I promise. So that's the interesting thing so far about this book. He also talks about setting goals and creating systems, which are things that I find very important also. Um, setting goals in the sense of having, well, having an objective. He says that's a bad idea. He says it's better to have a system which I'm going to think more about this and draw my own conclusions. But in his sense, he would talk about a system being talking about learning English. You know, your system would be I study English for 30 minutes every day, for example. That's a system. And in that case, if you study English for 30 minutes today, you win. If, you, if your goal is some abstract long-term thing, it might be more difficult to, well, it's difficult to arrive and in between it's more difficult to motivate yourself. But if your system is something easy that you can do every day, then it's easier to feel like you are making progress just because you're doing your work every day. It's your system. Same thing with my pull-ups earlier. You know, I don't, I don't want to be Arnold Schwarzenegger or anything. All I want is to go out three times a week and do something difficult, basically. That's my only goal um, with exercise. Do something difficult and enjoy it, basically, and continue doing that three or sometimes four times a week forever. I hope to do this for the next 50 years if I live that long. Who knows? Anyway, I'm going to do some reading and I'm going to enjoy the sun because we might not have sun like this in Madrid for a long time. Enjoy. We'll talk later on. Okay, so here we are. We're still on the beach. The problem with making a video every day is I have no idea what I'm making videos about even. You know, today, what did I do? I did some pull-ups, I spent some time on the beach, I went and I had lunch, I had some, you know, meat and a salad, and then I came back to the beach, and now the sun is going down behind me. It's been another beautiful day out here in, in Malaga. This is one of the furthest, one of the points in Europe that is the furthest south, so that's great, and, you know, I'd love to have something more exciting to say about this day, but really it's just been a nice day. I, I synthesized some vitamin D. I, um, you know, watched people on the beach. I walked up and down, and really not much else happened. I drank a lot of coffee in the morning, but, you know, in the afternoon I don't drink coffee because I want to sleep at night, and... and when you're my age, if you drink coffee after like 2 or 3 p.m., well, 4 p.m., if you drink coffee after 4 p.m., there's no chance of sleeping at night. So I try to just drink coffee in the morning and then I have lunch, and after lunch, no coffee. So yeah, I hope you learned something from this video. Be careful with your personal energy because that's one of the most important things. The more energy you have, the more you do, the more exciting your life will be. Um, do exercise because exercise is very useful and it helps your brain and it helps you learn things. It helps make you more intelligent. 
and you know being bilingual will also help make you more intelligent but you need to have the energy to actually do it you know one of the most important problems that people have people write me and they say like daniel i want to learn english but i have no motivation or i have no time and that's you know if you have no motivation or t no time you just need to make motivation and make time because there's you know it's not that great of an excuse we all have the same 24 hours in a day we all do the things we want to do and there are lots of other things that we don't want to do and we don't do them so just you know decide what's important to you and do it because there's not much else you can do in this life life is short to um to to spend your time on what other people think is important you got to spend time on what you think is important and be honest with yourself because what you think is important is probably important and what other people think is important is you know who cares that's them not you so once again this is another video that i don't know what it's really about and my hairstyle is as usual just kind of terrible and as usual i'm just some guy who's got a youtube channel and i'm here on the beach in malaga but i hope you enjoyed it and you know I probably won't make other videos today because it's going to be dark soon and who wants to see videos in the dark? So I hope you have a great day. Enjoy life. Be happy. Learn languages. And uh, I don't know. I hope you... I hope you decide to do what it is that you really find important and ignore the rest because that's the main thing. Have a great one. Okay, so I was wrong. That wasn't my last video of the day. This is my last video of the day. If you come to Malaga, you should come here. This is the AC Palacio Hotel. And on the top floor of the hotel, they have a uh, bar with nice views of the cathedral. It's on the 15th floor. It's very high up and you can see basically the whole city. It's very nice. Yesterday I was here and you could see the moon over here, but today probably the moon will be up in a couple of hours. So this is just, you know, normal cathedral views, but very nice. I recommend it. Have a good night. What?